again and as I said before welcome back to the Glasgow South Motor Tram and Rail Group workshops. I'm going to start a new kit this morning and it's the Smart Models War Memorial. Uh, it comes, <laughs> believe it, I couldn't believe this when I downloaded it, it comes in one sheet, all the parts are on one sheet. There is only one part that has to be cut or glued rather onto heavy card. All the other stuff is on medium card and then you've got the I don't think you've got anything can at all, I think it's uh, that's it. Looking at the instructions it's not too difficult. There's a wee bit um kind of triangular pieces that you've got is um get the edges to a roughly a 45 degree angle uh, but you can do that with a wee bit of sandpaper it's, it's not it's not a lot to come off it's just so that it fits around the side of, of, of the war memorial so what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously I, I can't do the whole kit on camera but uh, when it comes to wrapping the cover layers around the base layers I'll, uh, maybe there's, there's maybe seven or eight of the same component I'll show you how to wrap one and then I'll move on uh, but I think it should be a, it's a very good kit to have in a layout um, and once I've got the camera set up I'll be back and I'll take it from there Back in a bit. So here we have the components on thin card or medium card rather, medium card. And the first bit we've got is the the, the base which uh, we've got four sides to cut to cut out to form a box. And then uh, the next bit will be the base itself, which you fold round. So once we've done that, um, once I've done the box, I'll come back and let you see it. So here we have our four parts of the the box that we're going to form, and we just need to give them a wee smooth off on the edges. Usually just. A wee rub of sandpaper is just enough to do it. Basically, just glue this into a, a box. Um, and we've got the what I did have. <laughs> I did have. I think that's it. Get the idea of this anyway. 
um, that the, this bit here is the base, um, or the top of the base rather, and that keeps it square. So once I've sorted that out, we'll be back again. Hello there. So here we have the first wee box. That's what forms the, the base. And then you've got another box on top of that, which I've got here. Uh, so we'll just glue that now. Make sure that it's straight into the, the corner. Turn my light down to see what I'm doing.
So then we have our box. So we'll complete that once it's dry. I'll be back. Okay, folks. The next the next stage, uh, I have cut out one of the cover layers for those two boxes, and now we'll cut the the other one to, to go with it. Fairly straightforward. Just right. Start there with the keep the bit we want underneath the rule. That's my rule, and sometimes I break it. Just keep turning it round so that that rule doesn't get broken. There we have, just got to do one more side and then the wee square bits out it. Like that. And then we turn it round so that cutting away from the pattern. It's a wee bit easier for me because um, being ambidextrous I can write with both hands so I can, I can cut with both hands. And there we are, that's the other with the other one cut out. So we've still got to wait for the for the glue on the boxes to dry. And uh, a wee word of um, encouragement here. What I've done is once I've got the thing together, I put a bead of glue around the inside of this, right round. So when that's set, these will be solid. Uh, they're rather fragile, so I found that would be a good idea just to keep, to keep things hunky dory so the next part is turn this over like that the next part will be to put them bang in the centre like that the same with the other one and then once you've got um, obviously yeah, we've got glue over the top side of that it goes on there and then once the glue is set, we glue the sides, fold them up, um, uh, up the sides, and uh, and that's the next stage. So once we get the everything set, I'll be back. So here we are, folks, back again, and we've got the one of the bases um, all glued down um, and covered with a highlighter pen to make sure that you don't see any white. So I'll show you how to do it with this other